The Beats Studio Buds Plus are Apple's most compatible earbuds. They feature a new highly advanced active noise cancellation and offer a quick seamless connectivity for both Android and Apple iPhones. And additionally, they have the best microphone among other wireless earbuds available in the market. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you could truly get the most out of them, as well as sharing some very useful features you can explore with a pair of fantastic looking Beats Studio Buds. Let's begin. So let's start off by talking about some troubleshooting problems first. It's obvious when you first open up the lid of your device, a pop-up card will pop up for both Android and Apple. You could literally tap connect right here and the device should connect in no time. But if you're experiencing some pairing problems by simply just long pressing on the little button right here until the white LED light begins flashing, it's gonna be in pairing mode. And here you can actually go into the Bluetooth Discover devices and manually connect to them like so. In addition to that, just because these are compatible on cell phones doesn't mean they're limited to only be used on cell phones. If you want, you can actually pair these to a gaming system or even a Windows computer, all simply just making sure that the earbuds are in pairing mode and you can wirelessly find it in the newly discovered Bluetooth devices and tap and connect just like so. And when you have these paired on a non, like, phone device, you will actually notice that your modes and many of its features are still here. You still have access to active noise cancellation and transparency mode, even when connected to like a Nintendo Switch. Because just in case you're not aware of its gestures, both left and right side earbuds are actual physical buttons. It's this upper portion right here above the B logo is where you can actually press down to toggle them. And the basic button commands are basically this. A simple tap will pause and play whatever audio track you're listening to. A double tap will actually skip to the next track. A triple tap will actually go back and repeat the previously listened track all automatically. A long press will actually cause it to switch between different modes. But if you go on your iPhone or your Android app on the Beats app, you can actually reprogram this to actually swap it between that or your virtual voice assistant and yes you can actually have one earbud dedicated to do one thing than the other so one can have access to active noise cancellation and different modes while the other one will have access to your virtual voice assistant more about this app in a little bit now even though these beats don't have like the built-in sensors like ear detection does like airpods pros typically do whenever you place them back in the case it will automatically pause whatever track you're listening to and will resume back as soon as you take them off the case so it's similar to like the ear detection just just treat it more like a case detection now the earbuds themselves are actually ipx Four wire and dust resistant rating so you could work out with these expose them to some liquids they shouldn't they should be perfectly fine and then we did get a new silicone size option now we have a new extra small so fiddle with this make sure you find the right silicone tip for you originally i thought the medium was fine but then i switched to that new extra small i actually like to fit on this one better and actually gives me a tighter seal so play with the different size choices because this will actually improve sound quality now, a built-in feature that the earbuds do have is the sound awareness feature, where if you have your earbuds on transparency mode and there's like a loud car or, or a car just honks right beside you, that earbud that's next to that loud sound will automatically kick in active noise cancellation and will seamlessly just transition back to transparency mode automatically. Now skip to here for iOS and skip here for Android. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with iOS. When you have these paired to your Apple device, there's a couple of features that's somewhat hidden or you might've just forgot. Whenever these are paired to your iPhone, if you actually long press on the home page and tap plus, they're actually you could actually add the battery widget and here it will actually allow you to actually monitor the battery life of the earbuds themselves or the case in total. You may also pop up the little card as well to monitor the battery life levels right here. But you can also move to this very end page and have this dedicated page right here for your earbuds and other Apple devices that are connected, Bluetooth uh, connectivity all right here on your phone. In addition to that, whenever you're wearing these earbuds and you like to override like the different modes without physically tapping on the earbud himself, you can actually bring out control center, long press on the volume rocker, and here you can actually toggle the different modes without you having to physically grab it. You can also request Siri to actually switch between different modes as well. And then if you like to change the EQ on these things, maybe it's not on par of your standards, 
if you actually go into the settings on your iPhone and scroll down to music, here you can actually tap on EQ and switch between the different modes that it has. You can have it off completely, play music, and then keep switching between these different EQ modes to find an EQ that's best suited for your genre of songs. Now there's two exclusive features that's found on OS that the Beats can actually utilize. If you actually quickly go into your settings and go into Control Center, so long as you have hearing, you're set. Bring up Control Center, go down, tap the ear icon, and here where it says background sound, you can actually select between different white noises you could play like Ocean, Super Zenny, and it's amazing because it just plays on repeat without you having to use Spotify or download like a third party white noise app. It's actually built into the OS. In addition to that, if you're playing media, here's where you can actually also go ahead and monitor the decibel levels. It's green right now, but if it turns yellow or red, that means you're listening to music super loud to the point where it's not recommended and it's known to cause hearing problems. So this is a great way to monitor your decibel levels on the go. And then if you go on your iPhone setting one more time and tap on notifications, if you enable announce notifications and then enable headphones, Siri will actually read out loud any messages you may receive and can also reply. This is typically extremely useful if you don't have your phone nearby and someone sends you a message and your hands are full. Siri so will actually read out loud the message and will also give you the capability to reply. So you don't miss anything important. Super useful, especially if you're working out. And then to locate all your common settings, I'll be located right here in the main menu of your setting page on your iPhone where it says Beat Studio Buds Plus. Here you can find everything from renaming it. So you can literally rename them. You can also toggle between the different modes right here as well. Uh, the press and long hold, this is where you can actually customize to have Siri or the different modes to do one thing on the left or right side of your bud. I already covered this. You can also change it so you can have volume control instead. So with volume control enabled, you notice by default, left earbud is down and volume up. So you can switch between those two different preferences. All personal preference, of course. But if you want volume control, that's one way to do it. In addition to that, down here, you can actually change the controls for ending calls. So a single press while you're on the phone call will end the phone call, or you could do a double tap to click confirm. The microphone is set to automatic. I personally recommend leaving it there because the first earbud that comes out of the case will be the dedicated microphone when it comes to answering your phone calls. But if you have a dedicated preference, this is where you can actually go ahead and override it. To show mine, it allows you to actually track your AirPods, the last known location they were marked and last connect to your iPhone. So if you misplace these, you can actually like backtrack and try to locate them faster. In addition to that, if you actually go on the app, you can actually place sound on the earbuds themselves. So if you misplace one, Siri can actually play sound music. So it plays this beeping sound, which should aid you to locate it faster. And although there's no automatic connect features like the AirPods Pros do, if you actually connect this to one iCloud account, so long as the next Apple device is on that same iCloud account, you can actually tap the AirDrop icon and you can actually connect to the earbuds, Studio Buds Plus this way. So you don't have to repair them on every device. It's already automatically synchronized. Just won't automatically switch. This is also a great method to override the earbuds to make them connect in case you're experiencing connection problems. Just tap this little corner icon on Control Center. You should be able to tap and connect. Now, audio sharing is possible. Just however, for some reason, at the time making this video, since these are new, there's no audio sharing ability as of yet. I noticed the audio sharing option only pops up when I use older AirPods or late AirPod models that have audio sharing features like these AirPods second generation AirPods Pros. They give me the capability to select audio share for I could select a secondary earbud. But as soon as I show it shows me like the Beat Studio Buds Plus animation, it doesn't do anything. So I hope this is a future update that will resolve this issue, but audio sharing should be supported on this because the standard Buds, the non-plus, had this capability, but for some reason on the Studio Buds Plus, it's not working as time making this video. So hopefully it's working now, but the process to audio share is super easy, just like it previously was. Moving along to the Android side of things. Everything's all controlled on the Beats app. This should be automatically downloaded once you connect these to your phone. If it doesn't, just go into the Google Android store, store and just type in Beats and this should pop up and just download this. But with this app, you can connect to your buds from right here 
And the UI is pretty self-explanatory. All your important settings are found right here, like the capabilities to rename your earbuds, product features, like your gesture controls, but I literally went over this and some with you guys. But noise cancellation and volume, you could again, switch between volume or virtual assistant control. If you want one to be dedicated for the virtual assistant, you can, or you could disable some of these modes if you un remove the check mark. And then call control here, you can actually like also switch between one press or two press, all personal preference. Microphone, you have the dedication to uh, making one microphone, the dedicated mic, left or right. And then you can find your product information right down here. Uh, another thing that's important to note is uh, if you long press and you add a widget, make sure you add the battery widget right here to actually monitor not just the earbuds themselves, but also the case overall battery life. So with improved sound awareness, a stronger Bluetooth connection, and enhanced active noise cancellation, these Studio Buds Plus, along with their new case, are amazing. Make sure to check out my favorite accessories right over here for them in that video. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.